Welcome to 28 ways to prank unspeakable in Minecraft. This is a very long video, so make sure you grab some popcorn, leave a like, subscribe, and enjoy. I like what Nathan has going on. He's got an automated sugarcane farm, so when his sugarcane gets high enough, the observers break it. He's got an automated cactus farm over here. He's actually got a lot of cacti as well. To me, this looks to be... I don't know if this is an automated carrot farm, but it's a pretty big carrot farm. I didn't even know Nathan liked carrots this much. And of course, the inside to Nathan's house. It is actually beautiful. I think these are like 12 block ceilings. He's got a living room, giant chest area. I mean, look at all of these chests. His kitchen is also massive. I did not expect to see this. Look at how big Nathan's toilet is. Oh my gosh. Time for our first prank on Unspeakable. I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right now, which of course you are, smash that like button for more pranks on Unspeakable. For this first prank, we all know Nathan loves frogs. I mean, he literally is one. But I bet Nathan wouldn't like it if these frogs were in his house. No, he would not. So we're gonna go around scooping them up in our little net just like this. I've already gotten four of them. It's actually a really fast net. You kind of have to look and then wiggle around, but then you can capture the frogs. Come here, frog. Come here. Hey, come, hey, hey right here. Come on. Come on. Get, get in the net, frog. Look at him. He's like looking at me. He's like, please don't capture me. Come on, frog. Come on. Okay, you know what? These frogs over here get a pass. And when you capture the frogs, they turn into spawn eggs so we can place them in his bedroom. He is going to be so mad. Come on, froggy. Yes, you too. We've got 10 frogs. We need more. Come on. Yeah, you too. Oh my. Why are there so many frogs? Nathan has a ridiculous amount of them in his backyard pond. So far, we've managed to collect 67 frogs. I feel like we probably have enough to now go prank his bedroom. Everybody watching, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you see Nathan log in in the bottom left corner, warn me in the comments. Because if he logs in while we're pranking him, we've got to hold off the pranks. We're going to be going upstairs now. His bedroom should be here on the second second floor. Oh, nope, that's not... Oh, either this is a guest bedroom or a library. Uh, oh my... Nathan's house has three floors? Oh no, this is definitely the library. Okay, I could get lost here. This has got to be his bedroom. I mean, come on, look at it. We're gonna place all the frogs down. Oh, he's gonna be so mad. 70 frogs in your bedroom? Even if you love and adore frogs, I still don't think you'd like to have 70 of these little slimy creatures crawling around your bed. Our next prank is crazy. So we have what's called a super dispenser. This will empty all of the contents we put inside of the super dispenser. So I've got a lot of creeper eggs. We just need to pick out a really sneaky spot that Nathan's gonna go to in his house. So when he does, bam, he gets hit with nine stacks of creeper eggs. Oh, <laughs> look at Nathan's frogs. Uh, no, guys, you need to stay in his bedroom. Stop trying to leave Nathan's bedroom. You know what? I don't have time to deal with you guys right now. I'm trying to set up a really cool prank on Nathan. Oh, guys, I know where to put the super dispenser. The bathroom. The bathroom is the perfect place for this prank. Everybody's got to use the bathroom, even unspeakable gaming. We're going to place down one of our super dispensers right here. So as soon as he walks in, he's going to get mobbed by creepers. Just got to place down our tripwire hooks over here, attach the strings. And I want to demonstrate this for you guys that it actually works because this is not <clears throat> clickbait. I'm going to fill this up. Okay, let's just do it with one stack so I can prove to you guys that it actually works, but check this out. Boom! Look at that. I'm in creative mode, thankfully, so I'm not going to die to these creepers. But if we were to put in nine stacks of creeper eggs, let's just see what happens. Okay, here goes nothing. Nine stacks of creeper eggs. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The bathroom can't even hold it. You can barely even see my Minecraft character. Stop, stop, stop. Yo, I'm literally getting pushed so much. Okay, that's it. This is, uh, we have creepers literally dying from suffocation. There is so many creepers spawning. <laughs> this might be my favorite prank so far, and we've actually only done two. Although, this prank might actually beat the last one. These are TBNR frag spawn eggs. So these eggs actually spawn myself in Nathan's house. So we can place these down literally everywhere, or we can use these as jump scares. I might actually place down one in the bathroom. 
<laughs> That's kind of a creepy place for me to be. We can even place them down inside of the seats. <laughs> oh, I'm going to place these on top of his little bushes right here. Oh, dude, he's going to walk into his house and be freaking out. Wait, can I put one down in here? <laughs> it looks like I'm playing hide and seek with myself. Oh, yeah, the spare bedroom, I think, needs some Prestons inside of the sink. Another spare bedroom. Okay, I'm literally just going to put myself in the sink because I personally think it is absolutely hilarious just to spam these everywhere. <gasps> we could actually put these outside next to the front of his house. Oh my gosh. Oh, this looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of the Prestons, guys. Nathan is never going to be able to get rid of all of these. It's an infinite amount of TB and our frag skins. And the funniest thing is, like, when you get close to them, they all stare at you judgmentally. Oh, we should put him in his pond. Yes. Can we place them in the pond? We can. <laughs> Wait, they float? Oh my gosh. I had no idea the skins would float. We should place some of them on top of his house. Wait, no, 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 no. Even better on his eyeballs. Oh, he's never going to be able to get rid of these now. This might be my all-time favorite prank so far. This one is just pure gold. If only I could spawn more of me in real life that I could do this to Nathan's actual house. Before we get started with this next prank, take your iPad or your phone, turn it like this, and do me a favor and make that subscribe button go from red to gray and enable notifications if you want to. I'd appreciate that very much so. I promise you, you do not want to go anywhere because this prank might actually beat all of the ones we've done so far. We're going to be making Nathan's house feel a little bit more cute and girly, but that is not all. There's a really big surprise that we're about to pull on him. We just got to get a little bit of this down. I'm thinking about even replacing some of his concrete blocks in his house to be pink. I mean, you know, this is Brianna's favorite color. Oh, I know for a fact that Nathan's not the biggest fan of pink. The problem is with this prank, it's going to take a while, so I'm not going to Make you guys watch all this. Let's use the power of editing to make this go by in the blink of an eye. Oh my gosh. Look at his house. We have now girly fied Nathan's Minecraft house. It's barely recognizable. If Nathan had a Minecraft girlfriend, this is what her skin would look like. One last thing we could add is eyelashes. Come on, all girls have pretty eyelashes. The eyelashes were a perfect touch. His house looks absolutely ridiculous. I cannot wait to see his reaction. What I am currently holding in my hand right now. These are called meme paintings. I had these custom made because they are pictures of myself. Every time we place down a photo, we don't know what kind of photo we're gonna get. We could get something like this. I think I took this photo back in 2013. I actually think this is on my Instagram at Real TV and Our Frags. If you guys want to follow me, I don't know where. This is oh, this one is some really cool fan art. This is from a Fortnite thumbnail that I did in a YouTube video. Oh, Oh my gosh, look at it. <laughs> Wait, why is my face on top of Lachlan's Minecraft skin? Okay, now that's just kind of terrifying. But we have a ton of these meme photos, so we can place these all throughout his house. I want to see all the different ones. Oh, whoa. Okay, this is an abomination. <laughs> this has got to be my favorite meme photo. This one or me photoshopped onto Lachlan's Minecraft skin is also pretty great. You guys and gals have got to comment down below which is your favorite meme photo because if i'm gonna be honest with you i don't think nathan's gonna find any of these meme photos funny if anything he's probably gonna want to break them down as soon as he gets here the nice thing about having creative mode is we can place infinite meme photos everywhere and there's nothing nathan can do about it oh and the bedroom yep meme photos have to go inside of the bedroom ladies and gentlemen this is prime real estate for our meme photos and I mean, what library is complete without meme photos as well? We can even put it on the bookshelves. Let's go. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a better looking library. This might be the best looking library in all of Minecraft. Nathan should honestly pay me for this interior decorating because we have made his house look 700 million times better. At the very least. So you guys remember Nathan's farms outside? He's got this beautiful carrot farm. I think everybody knows how a carrot farm works. You pull the levers... Water comes out from the pistons, and then all the carrots go inside of the hopper, and then eventually inside of the collection chest, just like this. Well, what if we replaced all of Nathan's water with lava? This prank, honestly, is a little bit 
mean? But come on. I mean, carrots are so easy to come by. It's not going to take them long to get more carrots. We just got to put lava buckets in each and every single one of them. Now that the carrots have grown back, I can demonstrate how this prank is going to work. He's going to flick his levers and lava is going to release. And he's going to be like, no, not my beautiful carrots. They're melting before my very eyes. The final prank is not as mean as you think it's going to be. I promise. The TNT in my hand is actually prank TNT. So when you ignite it, it won't actually do any damage to the house. I'll show you guys an example. I, it might destroy the paintings, but that's it. It won't destroy any other part of the house, but it is definitely going to freak Nathan out. He's going to think, oh no, my entire house is about to be blown up, but don't worry. It's going to be fine. I'm not that mean, okay? I built this trap door perfectly underneath Nathan's house so I can fill this entire area with the prank TNT. And when he comes down here, he's going to freak out. It seems that I have placed so much TNT, I've lost my way. Okay, there it is. I was, I was getting a little bit scared for a second. Look at all the TNT that is down here. I don't even know how to do math, but I would say it's over 64 TNT easily. When Nathan sees the trap door like this, he shouldn't see the TNT. So my theory is if we get rid of the ladder down here, we can keep the trap door like this, but what we can do is we can place down a pressure plate right here, put a redstone piece right there, and this should activate the entire stack of TNT when he walks down. I feel like the TNT is kind of hard to see. Like, if you're opening this, you're just gonna drop down. Although this redstone is a little bit fishy, let's make this a little bit more sneaky. There we go, this should work perfectly. And just to make it look a little bit less fishy, I probably should add oak planks around the pressure plate just so it looks a little... I mean, it, right now, it's kind of suspicious. Oh, yeah, this looks way better. I, I can't even see the pressure plate. I mean, it's practically invisible. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, go, Nathan. Oh, oh, he's coming right this way. <laughs> How did he not notice me? Yeah, that's right, Nathan. Run. Go mine your diamonds. I see you out there with your diamond pickaxe. This is the tricky part. He's got this camera right here, which is actually scanning us to see if we are unspeakable or not. And obviously, we are not unspeakable. Yep, there it is. Face not recognized, and it won't let us open the door. This is why we need to make a disguise. This is perfect. I added a little bit of frog bait to the camera so the frog would go up there if this works. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes! If a frog was able to sneak past the security camera, that means all we have to do is make a frog disguise to sneak in. I just need, I need a few frogs. We're gonna need eight frogs to be exact to make this disguise. Come here, little buddy. Where are you going? <laughs> all right, we got one, two. They're so fast. They're fast and they are slimy, but there are a ton over here. Last one, get in the net, brother. So we're gonna put down our crafting table put all the frog eggs around a player head in the middle, and this is going to give us the infamous frog disguise, which we can put on our head. I mean, we, we, we kind of look cute, to be honest. The next part that is missing to this disguise is I need you to leave a like on this video, okay? If this gets 100,000 likes, I know this will give us the access granted, which we are waiting for. Oh, okay. I did not know this was going to happen, but I have turned into a frog. Uh, I thought I was just going to put the frog head on, but no, I am literally a frog inside of Unspeakable's house. And now I can open the door anytime I want. Now, where are Nathan's diamonds? Come on. Come on. Okay, this chest is empty. I know you had these diamonds inside of here somewhere, Nathan. If I was Unspeakable Gaming, where would I hide my diamonds? <laughs> Score, baby. What is this? Six stacks? This is six stacks of diamonds. Hey, Siri. Six times 64. 384 diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh my gosh. We just got the biggest haul of diamonds that I think I've ever gotten in my entire life. And I am so excited. The second way we're going to be stealing Unspeakable's diamonds is a little bit sneaky. Now, I see his name tag down below us, which means he is somewhere deep in his basement. Because if I go down here, I don't even know how I would get to him. Where does name tag go? Look how far down he is. He's like really, really far down. Down, and I don't know how to reach him. Do you guys know how to reach him? Because I most certainly do not, unless... Is it this way? No, no, no. I don't think that's going to go down deep enough. I'm going to drink my potion of invisibility. I think I've got an eight-minute one. Yes, I do. Oh, I don't want... No, no, no. Cannot leave any evidence. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, 
This is definitely the ladder he took to get down this far. I mean, look at him. Yes, he's close. He's close. Okay, what's he doing? What is he doing over there? <gasps> he's putting diamonds in a chest. <laughs> he just put him in the chest. No, give me those diamonds, Nathan. Oh, this is the easiest way to take diamonds. I feel like I'm stealing candy from a baby right now. He didn't even notice my invisibility particles. Bye, Nathan. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna take a nice little swim. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? That was like some kind of nonsense poison water. How did it not damage Nathan? But I died immediately. Wait, now that I think about it, Nathan actually wasn't standing in the water. He was standing on the stone next to it. Give me a brief moment to think. Uh, this is brilliant, just brilliant, I tell you. We are going to be crafting a fishing rod. But not just any fishing rod, a chest fishing rod, which is exclusive to only this YouTube video. This can pull any chest straight towards us. We just have to get the hook lined up. Yes, come on, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, got it. Oh my gosh, it's in the water. <laughs> Look at this. Hold on, before we check the contents of how many diamonds are in this, I need you to do me a solid. If you're watching the video, make sure you guys take your device, turn it like this, and make that subscribe button gray, okay? Now let's put down the chest and three stacks of diamonds. Not quite as good as our first haul of diamonds, but still, nonetheless, a very decent haul. The next way we're gonna be stealing Unspeakable's diamonds is by taming a mob to help us steal his diamonds. This is the Prestonify egg, I know. The, the patent is pending on the name of the egg, but this will turn any monster into our biggest fan and help us do anything. I wonder if it works on his frogs. Come here, little froggies. Why are they running away from me? Oh, it does not work. Wait, why does it not work on the frogs? Are they too loyal to unspeakable? I feel like they're spies or something like that. Come on, maybe, okay, maybe I just chose the wrong frog. No, okay, it does not work on any of the frogs. What the heck? If I can't turn one of the frogs into my biggest fan, we need to look for a mob that will work. Oh, I found a wolf. Hey there, buddy, come on. Wait, okay, first we're gonna feed him bones. Before we try to use the egg, let's tame him. Oh, he's even got a red collar, this is perfect. And Preston Fye! <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, he's wearing my merch. He is wearing my fire merch. <laughs> Dude, Mojang needs to reskin every mob in Minecraft to look like this because this is the best looking wolf I have ever seen in my entire life. I could have chose to use the donkey, but I think the wolf is way cooler. And plus he's wearing PrestonStyles.com merchandise. I mean, come on. Listen to me, TB and our Wolfie. I need you to do me a big favor. You need to dig underneath Unspeakable's house to get to his diamond chest. Now, the reason I can't do it is because I do not have permissions to break his stuff. I will show you right now, but I can't, I can't break anything. It just regenerates. I can't even break the dirt on the ground. Like, look at this, this is crazy. Which means you need to do it for me. Do you understand, TB and our wolf? He even barked. Go, my brother. Yes, there he goes. Oh my gosh, wait, what the heck? Okay, what? dude, he's better at digging than I am. I could have a diamond pickaxe with efficiency five and I still can't dig this fast. How is he getting through the stone? You know what? We're not gonna question it. All right, let's not question it. He's doing an amazing job. <gasps> he can smell the diamonds, bro. This might be the most diamonds we have ever gotten. Two stacks in this chest, another two, another two, two more. If only we had a pick. Why did I not bring a pickaxe? Do you have a pickaxe, TB and our Wolfie? I didn't think so, but I figured I'd ask anyways. All right, Wolfie, let's get out of here before unspeakable notices. Wolfie, very good boy. Dude. Okay, he is gonna get so many treats after this. You have no idea. Oh, wait, wait, is that Nathan's name tag? Ooh, what is Unspeakable doing? Wait, is he noticing that his diamonds have now been plundered? What? How is that possible? Where are the diamonds? Okay, I really hope he doesn't notice the hole. We're going to run very, very, very far away so he does not notice that we dug that giant hole under his house. By now, Unspeakable has put up a lot of defenses because we have stolen a lot of his diamonds. So for this next one, we need to become Santa Claus. Do you see this chimney up here? I bribed the architect of this house, and he has told me it is an easy way to sneak into Unspeakable's house. I had to pay the 
Architect and Floop, which is available on Amazon, but he wanted 10 cases, so it was like 100 bucks. It was kind of expensive, but worth it. What are you doing, Cal? You keep rubbing up on me. What do you want? I don't have any wheat. I can't give you any wheat. Actually, Cal, I need your body. I'm so sorry about this. Oh, man, I feel kind of bad doing this, but the first thing we need to get to the chimney is leather. We are going to be making a special secret boot recipe that only unspeakable and now myself know how to make. You're going to need four leather. You're gonna to need to make leather boots with them. Once you have the leather boots, we need to make a potion of leaping. This next part is kind of crazy. Throw the boots on the ground, throw the splash potion of leaping on the boots, and ta-da, turned into the frog boots, which only myself and Unspeakable, and now all of you know how to make. Look at the hops you get. You can jump so high. This is incredible. These are only level one frog boots, which means we cannot jump high enough to get to the chimney yet, so we need to make an upgrade for them. That's right, you guessed it. We're gonna need more of Nathan's precious little frog friends. I kind of feel bad. I literally, I'm, I'm like scooping them up and then I'm turning them into random things. Thankfully, Nathan has a lot of frogs. They should be thankful I'm not turning them into frog legs. Four frogs should be enough. This will replace that in the anvil. Give us some levels. Now we put the boots in with some of the frog spawn eggs and now level two. And then I think we can get a third level on them. Can we get a fourth level on the boots? Oh my gosh, we can. Can you get a fifth level? You can get a fifth level. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, we are jumping very high now. Nathan's never gonna see this coming. Look at this hops. Like, I have insane <laughs> jumps right now. Whoa, this is awesome. Oh, this is perfect. I'm literally a reverse Santa Claus. Instead of giving Nathan diamonds, we are going to be taking his diamonds. Oh, this is conveniently not lit. I'm very glad the fireplace was not active as I just could have burned to death right there. Where are your diamonds, Nathan? I've actually already stole diamonds diamonds from this chest. Are they in the- oh, Nathan, you cannot hide your diamonds forever. I know they're in here somewhere. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Four more stacks of diamonds. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, this is so good. And look at this. Because we have level five boots, I'm pretty sure we can escape the same way we came. Yup, this is so easy. I almost feel bad right now. Can you guys add up in the comments how many diamonds we have now taken from Unspeakable? I'm starting to feel a little bad, but just don't tell him, okay? Because I've got a really big surprise I want to use these diamonds for. Knowing Unspeakable, he has to have a secret entrance to his house somewhere. Every YouTuber has it. I bet even you guys have built secret entrances to your houses in Minecraft because they're fun and they are also epic at the same time. And Floopy here happens to be an expert at sniffing them out. What's that, Floopy? You smell one? Where? South? <laughs> All right, South is perfect. Oh, would you look at that? Floopy managed to sniff it out. You're really sometimes useful. You know that? I kind of like this ball of slime sitting on my microphone sometimes, not all the time. I'm not taking the risk. We are going to be making a water breathing potion. I need to hide the brewing stand far away from Nathan so he won't see it. Put it right back here behind this tree. Oh, we're going to need some water. And we're going to need an awkward potion first and then the puffer fish to give us that beautiful water breathing potion. Now goes the puffer fish. Oh, thank you very much. Potion of water breathing has been crafted. So this is where we have to be very sneaky. For all we know, Unspeakable could still be inside of his house somewhere. Oh my gosh. This is a very gross... <laughs> this water looks so nasty. Goodness gracious. The things we do to prank Unspeakable and to get his diamonds. Wait, what is this? I see Unspeakable Games name tag up there. What are you doing up there, Nathan? Huh? Are you picking your nose again? Don't be picking your nose. That's my job. Well, not to pick Nathan's nose, to pick my own. If I pick Nathan's nose, that'd be... <laughs> that would be a little bit strange. I don't know if my wife would be okay with that. How long is this underground tunnel? Oh, is this a pond inside of his house? <gasps> this is. I remember this pond. Wait, where did Nathan go? Oh, he's right above us. He's moving around. Oh, this is bad. Where are the diamonds? Are they down here? There's so many chests. Oh my gosh. We're not gonna be able to check them all in time. Okay, what about the barrels? Why are there so many barrels? <laughs> There's too many of them. I don't think he hid them in the barrels. Where'd he go? Oh, he's on the third floor. Oh, this is so bad. What if he comes down? Come on. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Oh, he's coming down. He's coming down. No, he's not. No, he's not. Okay. He's not coming down. He's just doing something upstairs. He's scared. He's coming down. Oh, 
he just opened the chest. He opened that chest. What's he doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, dude, stop. Nathan, stop. Nathan, dude, this is, I am gonna get a heart attack. What's he doing? Is he checking his chest for diamonds? <laughs> Can you just go upstairs, Nathan? Okay, you're giving me a heart attack. I've almost been spotted like 17 times. Did he put diamonds in this chest? He did. <laughs> okay, oh, oh. We've got to get back to the pond. Get out of here, Nathan. Go somewhere else. No, he just went down to the basement. I can't get out to the front door, so I've got to wait for him. I need to go back into the basement. Nathan, I need you to leave the basement. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh. I snuck past him while he was looking inside of his chest. Ha, ha, ha. Let's go. I'm honestly shocked that we managed to make this work, especially while Nathan was in his house. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. What's he doing? Oh my gosh, he's very close to me. Oh, this is very uncomfortable. Where is he going? Oh no, our water breathing potion has wore off, but it's okay. He went down his ladder. What's he doing down there? He's looking at the chest, which we fished and already stole his diamonds. I feel bad for that frog boy, but it's time to get out with our diamonds. This is the best way to steal diamonds. I promise you guys, this is about to be insane. Okay, this is probably my favorite way ever in all of history to steal diamonds from Nathan. I'm sure by now, now, Nathan is probably getting smart and understanding somebody is stealing his diamonds. He's no longer going to be putting them in regular chests. He is probably going to start putting them inside of an ender chest. If my diamond started to go missing, I'd probably do the same thing. And sure enough, there he is with his ender chest. Where's he going to put it down? Oh, right by the front door. Ooh, he's even got a diamond pickaxe. Ooh, he was in there for a long time. Oh, he shut the door. Is he, he's going to mine diamonds again. Nathan, no matter how many diamonds you mine, I will continue to steal them. All right, so how are we gonna get inside of here? I don't have my frog disguise anymore, but that's okay because we're gonna be crafting the global ender chest. Yes, that's right. You heard me correctly. It is a global ender chest and not just any ender chest. It is a PrestonStyles.com ender chest. And the recipe is pretty simple. You just need a lot of lava. And thankfully, I found a cave with a ton of different lava for us to scoop, 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 scoop up. It's kind of weird, but you do need a creeper head for the recipe. And then you also need seven buckets of lava. You must follow this recipe perfectly if you want to make the Preston Styles Global Ender Chest. Special Ender Chest that will link together the inventories of all nearby Ender Chests. To give you guys an example, I'm gonna put down this regular ender chest, put some cobblestone inside of it, and then I'm going to right click this special one. This is so cool. So watch, this is the regular ender chest. I'm going to put five cobblestone inside of it. Now look at my inventory. I don't even have to keep that ender chest open, but all the cobblestone has come right back to Preston's inventory. And now we sit and wait for Unspeakable to put more diamonds into his ender chest. Oh, speaking of which, what's he do? Is he admiring his frogs? He's talking to his frogs. Okay, nobody does that, Nathan. That was just kind of weird. Put them in the ender chest. Let's go. How many did he just put in? I think he put in like five stacks at least just now. Come on. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, a stack and a half of diamonds, two stacks of gold, and two stacks of iron ingots. Not bad. I'm a little disappointed, but we have been stealing a lot of diamonds from him lately, so it does make sense why he didn't have that many to start with. If I sneak, I turn back into Preston, and everything is in my inventory. You don't even want to know how long it took me to come up with this, okay? Just to find this crafting recipe took me like three years. And now it's time for the final way to steal diamonds from unspeakable and i promise you have not watched this entire video to be let down this final way is amazing for we are going to be crafting a giant vacuum cleaner <laughs> and once again it took me a long time to figure out how to make this recipe you need seven blocks of iron a hopper and a chest and you get the giant vacuum which will pretty much suck anything out of his house i only want to get diamonds but i've actually never tested this vacuum before so i hope it doesn't get, you know, stuff that we don't want. Um, but anyways, okay, so we're gonna put it down and, oh, oh, oh no, um, no, 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 this is not supposed to happen. Wait, can I turn it off? Turn it off. No, 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 vacuum cleaner, stop. How do I turn it off? How do I turn it off? Oh, this 
is terrible. It's literally consuming all of Nathan's house. Wait, I saw a diamond block. Seven diamond, eight diamond blocks. Oh, this is bad. Okay, Unspeakable is never going to forgive me. I need to find a way to fix his house ASAP. So many diamonds, though. Let me just go ahead and take those real fast. Oh, 35 diamond blocks? Where was Nathan hiding those? Oh my gosh, his entire house is gone. The number one rule, don't get caught. Unspeakable's upstairs right now. I feel like if he's got a secret house, it's gotta be somewhere in this basement. This looks really sketchy and suspicious. Audience, bad things are happening. Unspeakable's coming into the basement. Leave a like down below right now so you will help me not get caught, please. Oh, what is, wait a second, wait a second. I see that hidden lever over there. Is that where the secret house is? Oh, wait a sec. Okay, go back, go back. Bingo, ladies and gentlemen, we found it. I have been looking for this house for so long in order to make this video for you guys. I cannot believe it was hidden here all along. He's got some kind of water tunnel over here, but most importantly, a giant portal 100% leading to his secret house. Oh, dude. As to be expected, unspeakable secret house is in the swamp. I should have known, man. I don't know why I didn't think about this in the first place. But now we are here. Let the pranking begin. For the first prank, I've got a snowball machine blaster. And this bad boy is going to blast Nathan into the void. We're going to dig a massive hole right in the front of his house area. And then using the snowball blaster, blast him into it where hopefully, if everything goes to plan, he's going to sink into the void. Look at how fast this thing fires snowballs. It is ridiculously overpowered and 100% guaranteed to knock Nathan into the void. Check it out, guys. And who says hard work doesn't pay off? This hole is massive. And you can even see the void all the way down there. Now, we've got to get set up into position where we can blast him off into the void. Nathan, it's time to come down. Nathan hears something in the front door. Yes, keep it coming, Nathan. Yes, yes, yes. Just a little bit further. Oh, you know what? I'm going to wait for him to turn around. Then we're going to blast him. Blast, let's go. Oh, no. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, why did he just jump into the void? He would have been totally fine in the water. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bad for doing this prank, but I promise you there's even better ones to come. This next prank is so intense, I had to put the hood up on my Preston Styles ice cream hoodie because it's that intense. So this right here is a deadly whistle. If we right click it, every frog nearby turns into an extremely aggressive frog. I I want to demonstrate to you guys how powerful these frogs really are. And I feel so bad doing this, but I spawned a cow and I put him in a hole. Oh my gosh, they are, oh, they just killed a cow in one hit. Okay, guys, don't come for me. Why aren't you going for the cow inside of the hole? Guys, stop, stop, listen to your master. I have the whistle and I command you. So I'm gonna whisper for this part right here. We've got Nathan, he's reading books and you know he always keeps all of his favorite frog friends right nearby. And I hate to take advantage of them, but I'm blowing this whistle. Attack! Go, my frogs! Attack the unspeakable! Wait, can you guys see him? Look! Oh, no! Oh, look at him! <laughs> I see unspeakable diving in the chat. He's like, why are you attacking me? Stop! Stop it! Go, my frogs! Wait, is he gonna get away? No, no, no. He's not gonna get away. Get him, frogs! Get him! That's right! Give him the one-two punch! Oh my goodness! Unspeakable game has been mauled by frogs. You know how I said I felt bad about that last prank? I think I feel even worse about this one. But we still have many more pranks to go through. Top Minecraft Java server. Massive mine. Insane server events. Weekly update. Go to Preston.CosmicPresence.com or the description to play for free. This has got to be one of my favorite pranks. Unspeakable is no longer home. He's probably at his regular house house instead of a secret house, but this is the world's most annoying prank. The reason being, when you place this down and then you right click the music remote, it Come on, you gotta admit, that's pretty annoying. Being the annoying Preston I am, I'm putting it in a central location in his house, and now I'm going to cover it with a spruce piece of wood. I wonder if Nathan will see that. I don't think I would notice that inside of my house. No way. Oh, oh, speaking of the frogman himself, looks like Nathan's back home. Yeah, what do you think about that, Nathan? <laughs> oh, oh, he's getting close. He's getting way too close for comfort. Dude, Nathan has no idea where we've hit this box. He's like, what is that sound? It's pretty much one of the most annoying sounds I think I've ever heard in my entire life. And I have three younger siblings, so I do understand what it is like 
to be annoyed. To be honest, he probably has no idea what he's looking for. If I heard this going out of my house, I would have no idea what I would be looking for. Nathan! Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. Wait, no, he found it. No! No! Guys, it doesn't work anymore! He found it! It doesn't work anymore! I am clicking as fast as I can. Oh, man! Okay, I did not think that Nathan was gonna find it that fast. I was hoping we could have a little bit more fun with this one, but don't worry because the next one is even better. I may or may not be holding a motion detector, and uh, I may or may not have also placed hundreds of TNT underneath Nathan's secret house. If you guys want to know if I'm telling the truth, you gotta keep watching the video. I'm placing down this motion detector as soon as Nathan walks near it like anywhere like this thing works with like a 50 block radius and it works by a person scent so it's not going to go off if I'm near it but if Nathan goes near it it is going to go yoink it's going to be epic now we need to leave this house very quickly because I do not want to get exploded and can you believe this guys I don't know how Nathan did this but somehow he already fixed the giant void hole that we made in the front of his house <laughs> no okay maybe I shouldn't do this prank Maybe this prank is a little bit too intense. I mean, then again, Nathan is always pranking me in his real life videos, so maybe this is just payback. You know what I'm saying? Do me a favor really quickly, guys. Before his house explodes, take the device you're watching this video on, turn it like this, make that red subscribe button gray, and enable those bell notifications. Oh, no, and here it comes. Maybe we shouldn't do this. No, you know what? This is payback for Nathan pranking me in real life. Oh, no. Okay. There's no turning back at this point, guys. We might have gone a little bit too far with this prank. We still managed to take damage all the way out here? Are you kidding me? I know I placed down a lot of TNT, but I don't know if I remember placing down that much TNT. Let's see the damage. Oh, goodness gracious, honey. This might take a long time to repair. There's still like a hundred TNT blocks here that didn't even explode. Oh, Oh no, I think, oh no, guys. I think we also took out all of Nathan's frog friends. Now I feel a little bit, just like this much guilty. I do feel a little guilty that we've been going a little bit, just, just a little bit too tough on Nathan. So this next prank is not going to involve me doing anything bad to his house. It has something to do with this giant pitfall trap into lava. This is probably one of the most classic Minecraft pranks in all of history. If you don't know how this works, it's so simple. We've got a lever hidden over here with a bunch of redstone. And what we're going to do is we're going to place down a chest over here. And of course, we've got to add some signage, right? Free diamond. I am so sorry about your house. And let's give him a heart. Hashtag Preston loves you. What do you guys think? Maybe I should change my name to hashtag Preston loves. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. All right, that's enough of the nonsense, ladies and gentlemen. We got to get nice and hidden before unspeakable comes. Oh, there he is. I love in Minecraft how you can see name tags. If we couldn't see name tags, I don't know if I could pull off any of these pranks successfully. Oh, whoa, you are way too close to me, my dude. Oh, look at him. He's looking around and he is so close to seeing me yet so far at the same time. Do it, Nathan. Do it. You know you want the chest. And action. Yes. We got him, boys. Oh, no, dude. Oh, dude. Now I feel bad. He's typing help, please, in the chat. Nathan, I'm sorry. I know you've got a diamond pickaxe, but don't worry. There are plenty more diamonds in this world. I promise you that. How can you do this? So unreal. Nathan, I know that you can't see me and you can't hear me right now. This is payback for all the times you have pranked me in real life. I'm not going to lie. This is really slow. I don't know if I would want to be Nathan right now. You're like slowly dropping through the sticky cobwebs. Oh, into the lava and then he just burn. Wow. You know, guys, after that prank, I need a sip of my coffee. Ah, delicious. For the first prank, I showed you guys our snowball blaster, but I didn't show you my paintball blaster. This bad boy will cover Nathan's entire house like the most disgusting colors you've pretty much ever seen inside of Minecraft. It makes his house look like a disco house. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, Nathan and I, before we knew each other, both played way too much paintball. If you guys have ever played paintball, let me know down below in the comments. And since knowing each other, we've actually never gone to play paintball together. I feel like that is such a tragedy and we need to do a vlog where we play paintball together. But just look at his house. It is being, it, this is, it's being completely changed. Like I, I don't think he's 
he's ever... I don't think he's gonna recognize his house. Oh, yeah, we can't forget the front. By the time we are done with his house, he might barely be able to recognize it. Look at how fast. This thing shoots so fast. Ooh. Yep, we gotta get his... Oh, no. His poor upstairs garden. Oh, no. You gotta admit, though, in a way, this kind of makes his house look a little bit better because I think his house was lacking some color. It was mainly a lot of browns, a lot of trees, and, of course, a lot of frogs, but he was missing the element of color, which makes every single house look way better. And look at this. I think even the frogs like it. I mean, the frogs still have their water, so they're fine. Now, I have a question for you, audience. What would you say is the most annoying prank your friend could pull on you inside of Minecraft? One of my least favorite pranks is when I used to do videos and live streams all the time, and people in my comments would say, Preston, you missed the diamond whenever I was in a cave, and it would drive me nuts. I would literally spend like an additional 30 minutes looking for that diamond I quote unquote missed, but no, my audience was trolling me and they just were wanting to mess with my brain. Viewers, I think our work is officially done. Wait a second, some finishing touches. We can also change the color of the lily pads, which I actually had no idea. His house is virtually unrecognizable. I cannot wait to see Unspeakable's reaction. Oh, guys. Oh, no. Dude, Nathan, Nathan is so mad. He said, who ruined my house? It was swamp themed. Nathan, was it swamp themed or was it poorly decorated? I don't know. You guys have to decide that for yourselves in the comments. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I think it might've been poorly decorated. <laughs> he knows it's me. He's like, where are you, Preston? I know you're here. Nope, I am nowhere to be found, Nathan. And I'm totally not going to leave a very beautiful trail behind me if you want to come find me. Nathan, if you want some, come get some. Look at him typing in the chat. Preston, I will get you back. Let's see about that. I mean, let's be honest, guys. If Nathan tried to 1v1 me in Minecraft, who do you think would win? Come on. What I am currently holding in my hands is a bedrock wand, and it's just how it sounds. Anything I right click will turn to bedrock. This coal right here, bedrock. The grass that this beautiful cow is standing on, bedrock. Anyway, so I think, <laughs> by now I think you guys understand what this does and how we're going to be pranking Unspeakable. For some reason, he's been down in his basement for the past hour. I've been spectating him to make sure he's not trying to leave. And I don't know if you guys have noticed so far, but there's only two ways for Unspeakable to leave his house. He's got this giant front door right here in the front of his house. He can also exit his house from upstairs on his second floor. So we are going to totally board up the second floor and his entrance so we cannot leave his house. I guess what we could also do technically we could bedrock him and keep him in the basement, but I feel like that's too evil. I still want him to be able to eat dadgummit. And bedrock! Yes! Dude, this is so cool! Okay, now... Here comes the best part, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna rip up this carpet on the floor. Put all of the spruce planks over here. Think we have just enough, yes, with just a little bit of planks to spare. And three, two, one, bedrock. Oh, wait, we missed a little part of it. Okay, there we go. I bedrocked everything that I thought. He could still see outside, but dude, this is such a good prank. Oh, oh, now Nathan decides to start moving. Maybe I should just bedrock a little more of his house just for fun. I mean, it doesn't hurt to add a little bit more bedrock, right? <laughs> Look at Nathan. He's typing in chat. He's like, what is this? Wait, where are my windows? Well, of Sorry, Nathan, but I may or may not have bedrocked your windows, and I am continuing to bedrock them. There's no escape for you, Nathan. The first way we're going to be stealing Unspeakable's emeralds is by turning his favorite creatures against him. In order to do that, we need to turn the frogs into Preston frogs, because right now, obviously, they are Unspeakable frogs, and they are loyal only to him. Once we make this transformer, they will then become loyal to their one true king, AKA me. <laughs> On the inside of the recipe, you put orange stained glass because my favorite color is orange. I know I'm wearing blue right now, but that's because I'm wearing the ice cream fire merch t-shirt, which I love. And then you put in the magma blocks like so. Make sure you get everything all nice and neat and organized because nobody likes a messy crafting table. Nobody does. 
And then the rest of the spots, we're gonna fill in using iron blocks. This is quite an expensive recipe, but I promise, ladies and gentlemen, it is all worth it when you guys see what this tiny device is capable of doing. Oh, and there he is. The man, the myth, the legend himself, unspeakable. We need him to leave his house so we can place this inside. All of these handsome frogs are about to become Preston frogs. Do me a favor, guys. If you wanna see more of these videos, make sure you leave a like down below. There he is. Yes, Nathan, go mine your emeralds. Guard the house, frogs. Oh, Nathan, I'm so sorry, but these frogs aren't gonna be doing a lot of guarding, at least not for you. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so excited for this. I wanted to point something out to you guys. Notice that his house is so secure, I'm actually not able to break anything. Anything I try to break or touch at Unspeakable's house will, for some reason, it replenishes. Also, I can't open his door, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but his water is now poisonous. Not to him or his frogs, but only to me because I'm Preston. Can we get a drum roll, please? All right, here we go. The transformer has been placed down. Wow, it's actually much bigger than I realized. We've got the transformer down, but now we've got to bait the frogs in by using a dead fly, which of course are frogs' favorite meals. Look at, look at how slow these frogs are coming close to us. Oh, even the ones all the way in the back are approaching us. Yes, my friends, go into the transformer one by one. Look at how they turn into Preston frogs. I gotta admit, I think the fire frogs look way better than original unspeakable frogs. I mean, look, obviously they're still super cute, but they are not Preston frogs. Look at this. They're even wearing Preston styles fire hoodies, and I feel like they're faster. Is it just me, or do they seem like they're super powered right now? Oh no, we've got a frog stuck under. This is the saddest thing I've ever seen. We've got a frog who wants to turn into a Preston frog, but he's stuck. And I, I can't help him. Because look, if I try to break this staircase, it won't break. So I can't even free the frog. Oh, this is such a tragedy. Dude, check this out. We have so many Preston frogs. This is epic. Attention all Preston frogs. Notice how all the Preston frogs are now stopping to look at me. I need you to fire upon Unspeakable's house. Just watch, guys. You are not ready for what's about to happen. Go, my friends. Go. Oh, my gosh. Wait, what? They are exploding. Okay. I did not know the frogs were going to just start exploding in Speakable's house. I have actually never tested this before. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. What have we done? <laughs> this is terrible. But are there emeralds inside of these chests? Unspeakable, I know you've got these emeralds. Where are these emeralds? I'm gonna find them. And there they are. We found the emeralds, ladies and gentlemen. We have seven stacks of emeralds, but I feel like there's gotta be more somewhere inside of this house. Wait a second. I knew it. He had additional emeralds hidden. Wait a second. Hold on. Do we have any Preston frogs left? We do. I <laughs> Guys, I had no idea the frogs were literally going to turn into heat-seeking missiles and explode on Unspeakable house. That was uncalled for. However, we got what we came for, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's time to move on to the second way to steal his emeralds. You all probably know this about Unspeakable and myself, but we are grown adults. However, we act pretty much like children because that is the way to have fun in life. So for this next way to steal his emeralds, can you guess what this crafting recipe is for? I'll give you a hint. It is very similar to a claw. You just, and it's actually really easy to make because all you need is yellow concrete, which is so inexpensive literally anybody could get these materials. <laughs> check it out! The grabber arm! This thing might not look like it's got a lot of reach, but check this out. As I scroll on my mouse wheel, it extends further and further and further. Look at the reach we have! Oh my goodness! I just want to demonstrate how overpowered this is. Look at the chest down here, which has the emeralds. We need to keep extending our arm a little bit more, a little bit more. So it's a little hard to see, but do you guys see the red part of the claw? We need the claw to be inside of the chest for this to work. Bingo! Look, look, look. We now have the chest on our claw. And now what we can do is if we reverse scroll wheel with our mouse, you will see we are slowly reeling it back in. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Keep it coming. Yeah, yeah let's go. Let's go. And bingo, ladies and gentlemen, five emeralds. Would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? Unspeakable has added some new defenses to his house. And I, uh, unfortunately, it looks like the frogs are now terrified of us. I don't blame them considering I kind of turned them into missiles. And I feel really bad about that. Look, frogs, I really do. I promise. But you know what? This fence is not going to keep us from getting into Unspeakable's chest. 
I see them all the... Oh my gosh, dude. These chests are so far away. Look at the Kalogo. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. It's hard to tell. Like, are we close enough? We're in. Hold on. And we got it. I put it into the grass. I did not mean to put it into the dirt. And there we go, baby. Six more stacks of emeralds from Unspeakable. Before I show you guys the third way to steal Unspeakable's emeralds, do me a favor. If you guys are watching this on a device, turn it like this. Make that red subscribe button gray and enable those bell notifications. And if you are watching this on an Xbox or a PS4 or a TV, I don't even know if you can subscribe. If you can, I want to know down below in the comments because I've actually never watched a YouTube video on a PlayStation, Xbox, or a TV before. Which is a little bit strange considering I'm a YouTuber, but we're not going to question that right now. Audience, I have a question for you guys. Do you know what a UFO is? It stands for a unidentified flying object. We are about to make an unidentified flying lily pad. No, I am not kidding you guys. This is going to be a mechanical lily pad that is going to sneak past Unspeakable and take his emeralds for us. Fill the middle in with the paints, surround it with green concrete on every single side, and voila! We now have the core to the UFL, but now we need to make the next part of the recipe. It's actually very easy. It's kind of like making a heart out of lily pads. Let me see if I can do this by memory. I'm not very good with my memory. But I think I can do this. Okay, so far, so good. And there we go, the giant lily pad. So this is going to be the base to our unidentified flying lily pad, which we will be using to steal Mr. Unspeakable's emeralds. Now, we just got to combine the two of these. So I've got to put the UFO core with the giant lily pad, and then you get the full finished unidentified flying lily pad. Houston, we are about to have liftoff. Okay. Oh boy, okay, so here's the goal. We need to abduct as many of Unspeakable's frogs as we can because we are going to release them using the frog tornado inside of our inventory. And this is where we use the frog tornado! Go, my frogs! I don't know if you guys can see what's going on. The entire house is being absolutely deleted by the frogs that we were able to abduct. And somewhere inside of there is Unspeakable. Look, he's typing in chat. What on earth he says? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's so mad. He's like, hey, what is going on right now? Why is my house being tornado fight? He just died from hitting the ground too hard. Oh no. I think the tornado might have lifted him up and put him back down. Oh my gosh, guys, do you see the frogs? Look at the frogs going around the house. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, we are getting out of our unidentified flying lily pad to see where the emeralds are inside of Unspeakable's house. Yes, wait, we found him. Let's go, dude. Oh, dude, this is a ton of emeralds. We just got eight stacks of emeralds. Let's go. If you thought the flying lily pad was epic, I don't even know if you guys are ready for this one because we need a giant dead fly because what we are about to do is create the world's largest Minecraft frog in order to steal a Spinkable emeralds. And if I've said diamonds at any point in this video, I apologize. They're just so similar, okay? I keep forgetting. So, to make the giant frog egg, I think it's 28 regular frog spawn eggs. I'm not too sure. Look at how big this spawn egg is. Dude, look at how big this dead fly is. If I ever saw a fly that big in real life, I think I might be petrified. I would be terrified to approach it. Okay, please do not kill us, giant frog. We love you. I'm gonna feed you, okay? Here, I'm gonna place it right here. There you go. Yes, I know you want the giant fly. Oh, oh my goodness. He just ate that. What, what, what? Okay, whoa, chill, chill. Okay, dude, you created an earthquake when you jumped. You almost just killed me. You need to be careful. I don't think he realizes how big he is. When the giant frog ribbits, his little mouth gets a little bit bigger. Look, 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 it's so cute. The only thing that we're missing is if we could have a saddle. If we had a saddle big enough to ride the giant frog, we would be the most overpowered being in all of Minecraft. Nobody could stop us. Hey, Unspeakable, once again, I'm very sorry if you don't have good homeowner's insurance, but it must be done. We are going to feed our giant frog another giant fly so he will earthquake Unspeakable's house. Go, my pretty. Yes. Oh my gosh, dude, he is exploding things even more powerful than TNT. Look at him go. Oh, Nathan's not happy about this. The frog might jump on top of Unspeakable and squish him to death. 
Nathan, if I were you, I would move. Don't stand there. Oh, he just, he just got crushed. Thankfully, this is Minecraft, so he does have another life, but I feel kind of bad about that. Okay, we need to quickly find where Unspeakable hid his new emeralds, because otherwise the giant frog is going to destroy the entire house before we even have time to loot these emeralds. This next way to steal Unspeakable's emeralds is absolutely ridiculous, and if you guys think this is hilarious, please let me know down below in the comments. This chest may seem normal, but it is anything from it. It lives, and it breathes, and it exists not to steal diamonds, but to steal the one and only emerald. Now, to demonstrate this, I'm gonna put this chest down over here, fill it up with a few of these emeralds, and now we will right-click the activator and watch as the chest comes directly back to me, filled with every single emerald that we put inside of it. Okay, I'm glad we are using the living chest because have you guys noticed? Unspeakable has not only added obsidian to his house, there is now a lava moat protecting him and he upgraded even parts of his fence. So this is how this is gonna work. I need to drink a potion of invisibility. I'm gonna throw that in the lava because I don't want Nathan to see me holding it. Place down the living chest. Now we're gonna activate this and this is going to sneak through Nathan's front door. It should go right about there where all of those emeralds are just sitting there waiting to be deposited into a beautiful chest. See, the unfortunate thing is, since I'm not able to break or build anything next to Unspeakable's house, but wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he doing it? Oh, he's doing it. Look, he's, he has no idea. He's staring right at me, but he clearly doesn't see my particle effects. Oh, please tell me he just put all the emeralds inside of that chest. Please tell me that's what he just did. Unspeakable, you go back upstairs, okay? Hopefully this works. We're gonna right-click the activator. Come to us. Yes? Yeah, wait, you're missing emeralds. No, <laughs> wait a second. Chest, you forgot some emeralds inside of there. Oh, no, is he getting lost? Okay, this is really embarrassing. This happens sometimes, not all the times. Did you get the emeralds? Oh, my gosh. Okay, he did manage to get some emeralds. Chest! Look at the extra emeralds you left behind right there. Still, he did a good job. I mean, technically, without him, we would not have been able to get any emeralds. Do you guys see what I'm looking at? This is an earthquake hammer recipe and also an earthquake core recipe. You need both of them if we're gonna be pulling off this way to steal his emeralds. So to craft the hammer, it's actually really easy. You just place a bunch of iron blocks like this and this is how you get the machine hammer. But to make the core, it's a little bit more tricky to make the core. I think I might have the brain of a dead goldfish. I know it's kind of embarrassing for me to say, but I feel like I forget recipes way too fast once I see them. Put down the core, boom, put down the hammer. Check it out, we've got the earthquake machine. You know, I'm a little bit surprised. Nathan does not seem like he's added any new defenses to his house, but we're still unable to cross the lava path because we can't build, we can't break any blocks, but we can cause an earthquake. And I just noticed something, I don't see Unspeakable's name tag anywhere inside of his house, so that means this is the perfect moment to make an earthquake happen. All right, we're gonna put this bad boy down. Let's see what this thing is made of. If I remember correctly, it should split Nathan's house into two. But I haven't used this thing in a very long time. It looks like it's doing actually a pretty good job. What is happening right now? Oh! Oh! Okay, this thing is way more powerful than I remember. I do not remember it being able to do this much. I'm sorry! I just spit all over you, audience. I'm so sorry. I spit all over my computer screen. I think I even got some on the camera. Dude, check this out! Holy guacamole! Okay, guys, never build this machine. It is clearly way too dangerous for any one man to hold, but it has worked successfully and we should be able to scoop up. Wait a second. What is that? Unspeakable has a hidden emerald vault in his house. Yo, dude, I've got to come back for that. Hold on. Where are the emeralds inside of the chest, though? Oh, dude, this is our biggest haul of emeralds yet. We've never gotten this many from Unspeakable's house, but check this out down below, guys. This is the next thing we have got to steal. There are way too many emeralds down there, dude. Take a look at the video right now. Do you guys see anything that's out of place anywhere on the screen? No? Maybe you did? If you did see what I'm seeing, guys, there's an underwater house that Unspeakable has built, and it blinked in so perfectly, I didn't even notice it until right this moment. I know we wanted to get those emerald blocks in the vault at the bottom of his house, but I think we're gonna have to save that for next video because I wanna get the emeralds in this underwater house first. Oh, and then as you guys know, we are still unable, we still can't go into the water because we take way too much damage. We would die almost instantly if we try to swim down there. And that's exactly why we're gonna 
to make a real life Minecraft submarine. This is gonna be our most difficult item to create yet. We have three separate crafting recipes in order to make this bad boy. I think we should start with the body first because this is like a very important piece of the submarine, obviously. And this one's complicated. I'm not, this one's kind of hurting my brain. I think this is it. Yes, this is the submarine body. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna be making is the propeller. Why do all these crafting recipes have to require such a large brain? They're, they're actually very difficult to make. Does anybody else find it difficult or is it just me? And finally, we got it, the submarine propeller. So the final one is the torpedo, baby. I don't think you guys wanna mess around with torpedoes. These things are way too powerful. Each of these torpedoes, guys, have six TNT inside of them. We're gonna be making two of them, which is a little bit overkill, but you never know how defensive this underwater house is. Body goes down, then we throw in the propeller. Now we throw in the torpedo one at a time, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot rush perfection. Submarine, I beg you, please work. You've got this? Oh, I cannot see. <laughs> dude, I cannot, in first person, I cannot not see anything. Look at this, dude. This is so legit. Dude, there it is, guys. Unspeakable's underwater house is right in front of us. We only have two torpedoes. So we've got to be very careful. Take our aim nice and slow. Where do we want to go into? I don't even know where the front door is. Can we wait? Hold on. Can we blow this up? Boom. Oh, go. Go, torpedoes. Oh, bro. Dude, we just got... Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. We are inside. Oh, out, water, water, out. Taking too much damage. And would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Unspeakable is nowhere to be found, but his emeralds are. Now, I've got a favor to ask of you guys. Please do not tell Unspeakable who it was who stole all of his emeralds, okay? We are best friends, but also we are rivals at the same time. Look at the haul of emeralds we managed to get from this underwater house. Now I'm going, I'm going back in the submarine. Submarine, let me back in. We're getting out of this joint. We got what we came for, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, just like that, we are out of here. If you guys want to see more epic Minecraft videos, click on either one of these that YouTube is recommending you right now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Take care, everybody. I'll see you all next time.